Hello and welcome. If you like to play older games which make use of ancient versions of DirectX or even DirectDraw, you might come across some random issues. Sometimes these are visual artifacts, frequent crashes or even performance issues on your beefy gaming hardware. A common tool to solve this is DigiVoodoo 2. Hi, my name is Vortex Acheronic and let's get those old games to behave. Oh behave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah baby! Yeah. What is DG Voodoo 2? For those of you who are not familiar with DG Voodoo 2, I'd like to give you a short summary on what it does. DG Voodoo 2 is a set of compatibility libraries which do convert games written for any version of DirectX3D from 1 until 9 to DirectX3D 11 or even 12. It has also some compatibility libraries for games making use of DirectDraw or DirectImage to better run on modern versions of Windows. But even that it is primarily intended to be used on Windows, we can take advantage of it on Linux too. Common scenarios are missing visuals, bad performance, visual artifacts, instability or sometimes some games won't even output anything at all without using it. The rule of thumb could be... Something strange in your neighborhood. We gonna call! DG Voodoo on Linux this also enables us to make use of DXVK or even VKD3D to make those games run with Vulkan instead of OpenGL. This furthermore enables us to use things like Reshade, VK Basalt or make it easier for us to use OBS Vulkan Capture or Mango Hut. Even though the last two have support for OpenGL it is a bit flunky at times. Plus we get those games run on a modern well supported API as a whole. Apply DigiVoodoo 2 on Linux. Making use of DigiVoodoo 2 is very similar to make it run on Windows. First, download the DigiVoodoo 2 archive from the GitHub repo or the webpage, link in the video description. Second, unpack the archive. And third, move all DLLs from the extracted directory ms x86 into the directory where the main executable of your game is located. For games running via Steam, you can right click them in your library and click on Manage, Browse Local Files to open up a file browser where the game files are stored. On Windows this is it, but on Linux we still need to set a few DLL overrides because by default Wino Proton might not pick up the custom DLLs on their own. If you are unfamiliar on how to do this, here is how. Steam. For games running via Steam, simply do the following. First, right click your game in your library. Second, navigate to properties. Third, in the text feed launch options you enter this. The launch option can be found in the video description for easier access. Bottles. If you do run your old games using bottles, go on as follows. First, open up the bottle where your game is installed to. Second, click on settings. Third, scroll down until you read DLL overrides. And fourth, add three new entries called D3D8, D3D IMM, DD Raw. And set all three to native, then build in. Heroic Games Launcher. If your games are on the Epic Games Store or GOG, you probably run them using Heroic Games Launcher. Applying environment variables is done as follows. First, click on the settings icon of the game in your library. Second, navigate to advanced. Third, scroll down until you read environment variables. Fourth, enter as name, Vine DLL overrides, all in uppercase. And fifth, as value, enter ddraw equals n colon d3d9 equals n colon d3d8 equals n colon d3d imm equals n. Lutris. If you use Lutris to run your games, do the following to set DLL overrides. First, select the game in your library. Second, click on the arrow next to play and select configure. Third, in the newly opened window, navigate to runner options. Fourth, scroll down until you read DLL overrides. Fifth, in here you add three new items called D3D8, D3D IMM and DD Raw. Fix as where you set the letter N for each of them. Then hit save. Remove the watermark. If setting the DLL overrides was successful, you should now see a watermark in the bottom right of the game window showing the DG Voodoo logo. As you probably don't want to see it all the time, here's how to remove it. With the DLLs, there were also an exe file shipped called dgvoodoocpl.exe. This is a little setup utility which allows us to fine-tune DG Voodoo 2 if needed, but also to disable the watermark. How to run the exe depends on the way you plan on playing your games. I cover a few ways of launching it later on. If you have opened up the DigiVoodoo control panel, select the tab DirectX and uncheck the DigiVoodoo watermark checkbox and hit apply. After restarting the game, the watermark should be gone. Steam. If you run your games via Steam, the easiest way is to use Proton Tricks. You can download it from FlatHub and use it to run any exe file inside the Proton prefix of any of your Steam games. 
Right-click the dgvoodoo cpl.exe in your file browser and select Run with ProtonTrix Launcher. Or open up ProtonTrix from your app launcher right away. Depending on the amount of games you might have installed, it could take a while until it shows up. Next, select your game from the list ProtonTrix shows to you and hit OK. If you have launched Proton Tricks directly from your apps launcher, also select the game you want to modify, then select Select Default Wine Prefix and then Run Explorer. This will open up Wine's Windows File Explorer where you are able to navigate your system. Locate the dgvoodoo cpl.exe and double click it. After a short while, the dgvoodoo 2 control panel should show up and allow you to disable the watermark. Bottles To run the dgvoodoo control panel using bottles is pretty straightforward. Hit the big Run Executable button inside your Retro Bottle and select the dgvoodocpl.exe and disable the watermark. Lutris. In order to run the dgvoodocpl.exe using Lutris, simply select your game in your library. Then click on the arrow next to the Wine icon and select Run exe inside Wine Prefix. Select the dgvoodocpl.exe and disable the watermark. Heroic Games Launcher. For a Heroic Games Launcher I don't know an easy way of doing so, but the best advice I can give you is to use Lutris here as well. Add a new game to Lutris using the plus button in the upper left of the main window and select Add Locally Installed Game. As a name set anything you'd like as it is not very important and the runner should be set to Wine. Then navigate to Game Options and select the dgvoodoo cpl as executable. The most important part is now to point it towards the Wine prefix of your game running via Heroic Games Launcher. By default, Heroic will install all your games and prefixes into your home directory in the directory called Games, while prefixes should be located in a subdirectory called Prefixes. Select the correct prefix with Lutris and hit Save. Then run the new game and disable the watermark. That's this. This is how you can make use of DigiVoodoo 2 on Linux to enhance the gaming experience. I hope you found this video helpful and we'll meet again soon. If you have any further questions, feel free to reach out in the comments. With that said, I wish you a lot of fun relive your favorite childhood memories. Bye!